Stop looking in my eyes. I make tote bags, and I'm going to show you how to make tote bags. So this is how you make tote bags. <laughs> Fun. So the first thing to do is to cut out a rectangle. 45 centimeters by 73. I'm using three different types of materials for my tote bag. I'm using a printed cotton, canvas and a corduroy. But most materials will work. Then hold your rectangle, good sides facing together, and do a straight stitch along two of the sides. And then go over it like four times with a zigzag stitch to make it durable. Oh, I love the word zigzag. And then off to my sewing machine, which is my best friend when its tension isn't having its spaz attack. Okay. This is roughly what it will look like. A straight stitch with like four lines of zigzags on top of each other. Then you need to hem the top of your bag. To do this, you fold over the edge twice Put in place and then do a straight stitch on the top. My sewing machine was acting up and my tension was awful and it was a huge headache but with a lot of YouTube I was able to fix it. I know that was like totally irrelevant but I felt like complaining to someone because tension on a sewing machine is really annoying. When your tote bag is all nicely hemmed then it is time to make it have a bottom. I don't know a better way to phrase that. You basically pinch out these little triangles in the corner of the bag and sew along the line. These little triangles can be as big or small as you want, it really depends how big you want the bottom to be. This is what it looks like after you've sewn the straight stitch. You sew the line and it's this little triangle flappy thing. Then you chop off that flappy thing and do a zigzag along it to make it really strong. Now if you flip it right way out it will look like this. So this step was basically to give the bag a bottom. The next step is to make your bags have straps. So cut out two rectangles that are 106 centimeters by 10 centimeters, fold them right sides together and sew a straight stitch along it. Then do a zigzag to make it stronger. I don't know, I just love zigzags. And it will look something like this. Turn that inside out and pin it flat and top stitch the sides. This will make it look very neat. You could iron it first before you top stitch it, which would make it a whole lot easier. Or you could be lazy like me and spend ages pinning it down. Fold the end of the strap into itself and pin it on top of the bag, about 20 centimeters away from the side. Don't pin it to both sides of the bag now, because that's not fun. Sew around the edge of the strap, and then for extra strength, I sew a cross in the middle. Now this next step is completely optional, you do not have to do it. I do it because I think it look, makes it look very professional. Um, so my brother has a vinyl cutter, so he cut out some stencils for me on sticker paper. And I stuck them down on some small squares of fabric that I was going to use for the tags. And then I used a fabric pen and coloured in the inside of the stencil. This is my brand name. Well, sometime in the future it will be my brand name when I have a brand which, yeah, I don't know when that's going to happen. Yeah, but you can literally do whatever you want on your tags. 
freehand it if you don't have a, if you can't make stencils. Literally, you can go wild with what you put on your tags. Pin the sides of your label underneath itself and top stitch over it for a clean finish. When doing this, it's a bit tricky because you're doing it inside a bag. Make sure you don't accidentally sew the front side of the bag to the back side of the bag because that would be an absolute pain and then you have to quick unpick it. I would not recommend doing that. So just be quite careful when you sew the tag on and sew the straps on for that matter. Now, voila, your bag is done. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? Now, enjoy me trying to be a model and model these bags. I am super proud of how these bags turned out. There is the slouchy corduroy bag of your dreams. And then the prettiest printed tote bag ever. I mean, just look at these colors. They're just amazing. Wow, I really look quite insane here. I hope no one was watching. That would be pretty embarrassing. The last of all my tote bags is this very simple and plain canvas bag, but still it looks really cool. Welcome to my outro. Isn't it amazing? Uh, I really hope you liked that tutorial and you found it useful. I highly encourage making tote bags yourself. It's awfully fun. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, maybe, just an idea, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.